mean, well, I mean, we didn't work together in Chicago. That's true. Dino and I, our only connection was my wife, basically, right. <laughs> in the 80s. Yeah, I knew you went to college I, with my wife. Okay. We were, we were friends, and uh, and I met Robert, and uh, I, I'll never forget when I, I met Robert, uh, Michelle said, this is Robert, and he said, hey, how's it going? <laughs> that was about it. So you guys didn't work together Shine. until until New York. Dino then? with Conan, we we hired Dino. He was the first writer we hired for the late night show. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I was aware of Dino from the '80s from my wife who told me there's this really funny guy uh, I know in Columbia, but I never really got to meet him. And and then he worked on the Ben Stiller show for Odin Kirk and. Um, with or Odenkirk. with Odenkirk, I keep yeah. thinking of it. <laughs> the Ben yeah, Stiller yeah. show for Odenkirk. No, but that's, that's how Bob kind of got to right. pitch Dino even harder. But Dino had the best writing submission by far of anybody who uh, wrote for the comedy. I remember show. writing that submission. I, I wrote twenty one. I called it the Blackjack of comedy. I wrote twenty one ideas. <laughs> ideas. And how many ended up on the show? Probably a high percent. Yeah, well, you know, three or four, which is pretty high. Probably. Oh, come on. It had to be way more than that. I can't remember. <laughs> All right. But, uh... No, his, he had ideas on the show, uh, in this packet that we just couldn't wait to get on the show. He was just completely... I was just enamored by the whole idea of, you know, you guys making a show. And uh, I remember sending it to my agent. Uh, or no, sending it, yeah, sending it to my agent saying, you know, just tell them that I'll do... I'll just submit ideas for nothing that you got really mad at me. Like, I never got that message. Yeah. Was there one single idea that, that completely well, sold you? It was the one that I remember that we, I remember us using it and it was this idea that we would have a make-believe curse word so that we could express and get the same laughs that curses get on television without uh, having to deal with censors. So we just invented our own curse word called crunk, which ended up becoming, you know, a different, it spelled... Yeah, I, I can't it's tell if, with it a was, C. if it was just a coincidence or... Well, it's in, in the crunk, is it's a combination uh, of two yeah, words, yeah. right? It's, it means what? Yeah. In, in rap culture. It means, like, drunk well, and, and... Something. Cranky. No. Probably not cranky with rap culture. Crack or... <laughs> crack? Something like that. I mean, no, crack? Yeah, like Su Susie would know, crack. if anyone would know. <laughs> There's no such thing as a anyway, curse in my world. <laughs> anyway, he he came up with it because... Uh, well, because I love swearing. Yeah, and it sounds a little like cunt, but it doesn't. That's why right. it's a funny Originally, it was, I, I made it cunk. Cunk, and, yeah, that's right. Cunk that is was, a little too close. I thought that was... Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah little. Robert's like, yeah, and put it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But even, even though you didn't work together in Chicago, you both shared a Chicago kind of... Well, if not an upbringing, but a... Yeah, because I moved there to become a, 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 try to become a sketch comedy type person. I was a struggling pre-dental student who uh, had no idea that I could succeed as a writer at all. I just like did impressions of my friends when I was a kid, and, and I didn't do that much writing. I just sort of was funny in my class and uh, never really thought of myself succeeding. I was trying to be a dentist because my father was a very successful dentist, so. I mean, I just. I mean, look at his teeth, sucked. by the way. Well, that's, <laughs> come on. No, that's because he married a woman with beautiful teeth. Oh, he really? hasn't really done much. Oh, work. he didn't do any work on your teeth. It's like two things, honestly. Wow, because you have a great set of. I know. I have <laughs> choppers. I know. Yeah, they're amazing. What are you gonna do? Mine are awful. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. In a so, hey. so anyway, the uh, the I, I sucked at pre dental, and out of desperation, I tried. I entered a stand-up contest and I succeeded in that, but I didn't like doing stand-up, so I met Tim Kazarinski from Second City. Nice. I recognized him when he got on Saturday Night Live, which shocked him. But he advised me to take the Players Workshop in Second City and uh, at, with Joe Forsberg, and it was a very nurturing, friendly environment. And I would never have succeeded if I hadn't been there because I am the kind of person who takes rejection very hard and would have been bad. So I'm very glad I, I spent those years in Chicago. And I, they were the best years of my life anyway. And 